It's now time to start the web conference on the progress of Hitachi's 2021 medium term management plan. Let us start the meeting and let me introduce the speaker. Hitachi Limited's president and CEO, Toshiaki Higashihara. Over to you, Mr. Higashihara. Uh, thank you very much uh, for attending uh, the uh, briefing uh, on the progress and prospects of the 2021 Mentor Management Plan. Uh, first of all, I would like to express our condolences uh, for the people who have fell victim to uh, COVID-19 and uh, uh, also offer our prayers to the people who have uh, uh, infected uh, the disease and also uh, to the people who are involved uh, in uh, the uh, prevention as well as the treatment uh, of the COVID-19 uh, 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 patients uh, uh, globally, uh, we would like to express our respect. Now, uh, we would like to explain to you the 2021 uh, midterm management plan, uh, progress and prospects. Mr. Higashihara, please. Uh, we would like to uh, give you an update on the progress and prospects of the 2021 uh, midterm management plan, uh, starting off uh, with the uh, understanding of the current environment uh, with the impact of uh, COVID-19. Uh, we believe that uh, there will be 15% decline on the GDP growth uh, globally in the second quarter of 2020. And uh, the revenues, uh, as already explained, uh, there is going to be a negative impact of 1 trillion yen uh, because of the COVID-19. Uh, therefore, the management environment uh, is extremely uh, difficult and challenged. Uh, there are three messages that uh, we have outlined here. Uh, with the assumptions of the COVID-19, uh, we believe uh, that we can continue to grow through a social innovation business coexisting with COVID-19. Uh, in what we have to uh, emphasize is uh, cash management, uh, structural reform, as well as uh, securing and uh, development of uh, human resources. Uh, these are the topics that I'd like to emphasize. Uh, in the uh, mid to long term, uh, environmental issues are coming to the fore. Uh, we are declaring uh, fiscal year 2030 uh, carbon neutral to become a leading company in generating environmental values. Uh, this year will be the start of uh, this uh, initiative. Now, uh, let me uh, once again talk about uh, the major direction uh, in uh, the midterm management plan. Uh, in Ramada will be the base of uh, digitalization and uh, we will uh, promote uh, a co-creation in mobility, life, uh, industry, energy, and IT areas. And um, for by so doing, we will enhance social values, environmental values, and uh, economic values. Uh, by so doing, uh, improving the quality of life and adding values for our customers. This is the major direction for us. Through social innovation business, Hitachi aspires to grow significantly and become a global number one in the social innovation business globally. This is the major direction for the midterm management plan. Now, uh, let's uh, uh, evaluate the achievements in fiscal year 2019. Uh, in terms of uh, strengthening the digital business, Hitachi Vantara or, uh, and Hitachi Consulting have been integrated to uh, transform to the new Hitachi Vantara. Um, by so doing, uh, um, we have strengthened the additional solution platforms as was in January of 2020. Uh, 12,000 uh, people uh, are included in this organization. We have also made progress in the transformation of the business portfolio uh, in North America. Uh, we have made uh, entry into robotic uh, system integration business by acquiring JR Automation. And there is going to be more electronics uh, in automotive systems uh, going forward. Uh, therefore, uh, we want to gain a larger market share, number one to number three. 
this is in essential for us and that is the reason why we acquired the uh, chassis uh brace uh, international and uh, uh, decided the business integration with the the three honda uh, parts companies in terms of uh, reorganize with uh, reorganization of uh, this subsidiaries, transferred the Hitachi Chemical to Showa Denko, made Hitachi High Tech a wholly owned subsidiary. And the diagnostic uh, imaging related business has been transferred to Fujifilm. The long pending uh, issue of uh, the South Africa project to reach settlement uh, with the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. Uh, those are the uh, major highlights of the uh, fiscal year 2019. Let's uh, look at uh, the results uh, uh, in terms of adjusted operating income ratio, as well as uh, revenues in operating cash flow uh, are shown here. I'm sure that uh, this has been explained. Uh, five sectors and uh, the consolidated uh, uh, numbers are presented here for 2019. For five sectors, it's 5.8.5% uh, uh, in terms of adjusted operating income ratio. And uh, it was on a consolidated base and uh, it would be 8.9% uh, excluding the COVID-19 uh, impact. Consolidation basis is 8.8%. Uh, IT divisions made uh, significant contributions and uh, 2.1 trillion in terms of revenues and 12% uh, 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 in terms of uh, uh, the adjusted operating income ratio has been achieved, uh, making a significant uh, contribution for the overall uh, company. Uh, in terms of operating cash flow, uh, the, if we exclude the South Africa uh, uh, project, uh, uh, 700 billion uh, it can now be generated. Over 700 billion can be generated. And that is all in terms of the results uh, for fiscal year 2019. Uh, let's proceed uh, to talk about the acceleration of the social innovation business. Against the backdrop of uh, COVID-19, the economic environment uh, uh, besetting us is becoming more challenging. In the social innovation uh, business, uh, we will uh, promote uh, uh, co-creation as well as uh, harnessing uh, digital uh, technologies uh, to provide solutions uh, to uh, challenges with uh, COVID-19. Uh, there are new changes occurring in a society. Uh, Keywords include remote and contactless and uh, automation, uh, internet uh, and uh, smart phones and other technologies have brought about uh, uh, innovation. It was driven by products. But uh, going forward, uh, the uh, pains as well as uh, uh, the challenges of the customers uh, must be resolved uh, through uh, co-creation, uh, harnessing uh, digital technology. Therefore, I believe that the uh, more human-centric human needs uh, will uh, accelerate the uh, innovations uh, going forward. Uh, therefore, the social innovation uh, business that we have been developing uh, can uh, resolve the problems brought to the fore by COVID-19, according to our view. Now, uh, let's look at the focus business fields for us, uh, uh, beset with change. Uh, there are five sectors uh, mentioned here in the area of uh, IT. Uh, we will focus on uh, digital uh, transformation and cloud. Uh, this will uh, be making progress across the board. We must provide uh, ample support. Uh, in the area of uh, energy, digitalization of grid, as well as uh, uh, promotion of efficient power consumption will be promoted in the area of uh, industry. Uh, optimization of the uh, distribution and manufacturing supply chain uh, will be uh, made because of its um, increasing uh, connectivity. Uh, automation and electrification of production is uh, likely to make progress in the area of mobility, digital railway uh, operation and maintenance business that will be promoted uh, for smart life. Uh, life science fields uh, will be promoted and uh, expand uh, our market share in the focused uh, auto parts uh, business. Uh, let's look at uh, the region uh, perspective. By regions, uh, the required values vary. Uh, therefore, in um, promoting our global operations, uh, common solutions uh, taken into consideration the global situation will be uh, developed and uh, uh, further more customization by regions uh, will be required as well. Uh, this uh, uh, will have to be uh, enhanced further. 
in various uh, regions uh, uh, in the world, uh, we will uh, engage in uh, co-creation with the customers to solve uh, issues and scaling solutions uh, uh, with Lumada. There are more than 1,000 cases of uh, Lumada, and uh, the Lumada Solutions Hub uh, will has been created. Uh, solutions uh, that can be commonly used uh, will be improved, uh, providing to different regions and by partnering with customers in co-creations, uh, new values uh, will be uh, generated. By so doing, by in 2021, uh, 1.6 trillion uh, the mother business is what uh, we are aspiring to achieve. Next, uh, uh, let me talk about uh, uh, the uh, current status of uh, social innovation business uh, by business fields, regions, and uh, business cycles. Now, in uh, different uh, regions, uh, there is uh, diversity. This is uh, the edge of uh, Hitachi. Uh, with this edge, with good balance, and uh, by managing our business, uh, efficient uh, uh, business uh, can be enabled. In the business fields, the uh, energy sector uh, is beset with challenges, uh, but uh, IT can drive uh, profits. Uh, in the region uh, perspective, uh, with the COVID-19 impact, uh, there is uh, um, spread uh, at the different time frames. Uh, for example, North America is difficult, but China has recovered. Uh, therefore, uh, we will take a balanced approach in terms of uh, pursuing a business in different regions. In terms of the business cycles, uh, more than one year uh, in terms of uh, uh, orders received is accounting for 60%. Uh, this is uh, uh, also the, uh, the advantage for us. What are the points uh, to focus on in fiscal year 2020? Let me discuss uh, the management policy for this fiscal year. First, regarding ABB Power Grid, Honda-related uh, parts uh, businesses, uh, three of them are going to be integrated. And uh, we have to complete uh, PMI, needless to say. Portfolio reorganization and investment into growth. Uh, these will be pursued continuously. In fiscal year 2020, areas of particular focus uh, includes uh, cash management. It will be strengthened further, and we will be engaging in uh, more of uh, structural reform initiatives. What is important is uh, to secure uh, talents and foster them, securing and developing human capital. Regarding cash management uh, from uh, the CFO, there was a presentation on this. 1.3 trillion yen worth of liquidity is already secured. In crisis management, operating cash flow and investment uh, uh, cash flow need to be reviewed in a timely manner. So by striking a cash balance, we have to run our business. And that is what we would like to strengthen. Moving on. Uh, execution of structural reform. So far, uh, we have pursued a smart transformation. So through structural reform, we brought the cost down. So reforming uh, sales back office, indirect operations, uh, uh, reforming manufacturing, reducing the number of companies within the group. And going forward, uh, we would uh, also like to reform a work style uh, to uh, promote uh, work from home. So work style reform and re remote work, uh, as is described in this box, we would like to redefine work styles and create enabling environment for that. And we're going to review business operations based on the fact that we're going to work uh, more from home. And we will uh, promote digitization of business uh, processes, global shared uh, services. Uh, we're going to incorporate ABB. So global shared services will be promoted financial services and procurement. Uh, such uh, global shared services uh, uh, will be promoted on a global basis uh, so that we can bring the overall cost down. Uh, next, uh, securing and development of human capital. Currently, we have 300,000 employees. Uh, for these uh, 300,000 uh, employees, uh, we want work style reform, but more, uh, than that, uh, we want them to have the motivation to work. 
and uh, we want each and every employee uh, to feel the ties uh, with uh, society and make contributions uh, to society. So encouragement and empowerment is uh, necessary. That is what we want uh, our employees to feel. And uh, promoting work styles for diverse human capital. Uh, we will have a new work style uh, where working from home is going to be the standard. standard. And we will transition to job-oriented human capital management. Uh, this was accelerated under COVID-19, but this is something that we would like to further promote and develop. And we need to uh, acquire and develop uh, talents for social innovations globally, digital talents in particular. We're going to increase them from 30,000 uh, in fiscal year 19 to over 37,000 in fiscal year 21. Uh, next, uh, under 2021 MTMP, on top of economic uh, values, we're going to enhance uh, social values as well as environmental values. That's one of the messages touted. And for social values, for each uh, sector, as you can see from this slide, we want our business to contribute to society. And this is how we're going to do that. Uh, we want people to understand this and feel this. Uh, as they uh, run uh, the business operations in each sector, this is what we are working on and developing. And uh, going forward in the future, uh, environmental values will be very significant. Hitachi uh, wants uh, to become a leader in creating environmental values. Through social innovation business, we would like to offer solutions uh, for environmental issues uh, to enhance quality of life uh, and achieve a sustainable society for all. Uh, Hitachi Environmental Innovation 2050. And we would like to cut down on CO2 emissions uh, by 50% in fiscal year 2030 and 80% in fiscal year 2050. We want to accelerate this effort so that we can decarbonize society, we'll be accelerating these uh, efforts and uh, achieve a resource efficient society, society where water uh, and other resources can be recycled effectively. Next, uh, based on this, in fiscal year 2030, we would like to achieve carbon neutrality. This year is the year of announcement. This is the starting year for that. In order to cut down on CO2 emissions, uh, materials, uh, a procurement, production phase, and uh, the phase where put out uh, products and products are used by customers, there are different phases involved, uh, where we produce the uh, products, uh, product uh, designing uh, to be reviewed, and uh, energy conservation uh, in manufacturing facilities, uh, utilizing renewable energy facilities and renewable energy, uh, by fiscal year 2030, we would like to achieve carbon neutrality in these areas. So far, I've discussed uh, many points, uh, but uh, here's uh, uh, fiscal year 2020 forecast and 2021 MTMP targets. Uh, our CFO explained the forecast. Revenue 7.08 trillion, adjusted operating income 5.3%, net income attributable to Hitachi stockholders 335 billion yen, operating cash flow 500 billion, return on investment capital 5.7%. Uh, in March 2009, in terms of net income, negative 783 billion. It was a loss. Uh, for the past decade, uh, we have continued uh, to reform the business. And coronavirus uh, crisis is said to have greater impact than the Lehman shock. And yet, uh, under those circumstances, we are to secure 335 billion yen of net income attributable to our stakeholders. And so what we've been doing in the last 10 years is going to bear fruit. And MTMP, the numbers are remain unchanged from last year, uh, but uh, the second and the third waves may possibly happen uh, for COVID-19 ABPs acquired, 
Honda related parts businesses, three of them are combined. Uh, we would like to clarify what the numbers of them are going to be uh, so that we can update this MTMP going forward. Lastly, Hitachi Social Innovation is powering good. Uh, this is the key phrase. And uh, we would like uh, to power good in society with uh, Hitachi's social innovation. I look forward to your continued support and understanding. Thank you. Uh, we would now uh, proceed to the Q&A session. Those of you who wish to ask a question, uh, please uh, uh, press the uh, hand up uh, mark uh, on the screen. Uh, we will designate, it, designate uh, the person to ask the uh, question. And uh, please unmute, uh, state your name and affiliation before asking your question. The video of uh, the uh, person asking the question will not be shown today. Uh, first of all, we'll take uh, questions from the media on the Japanese channel, uh, followed by institutional investors and analysts, uh, and then uh, re going to English channel thereafter, in that order. We are expected to uh, finish this meeting at uh, um, 1800. Uh, first of all, uh, the floor is now open to the uh, media uh, representatives on the Japanese channel. Tomoki Okamoto san, please unmute and uh, ask your question. Uh, question. Thank you for this opportunity. I have uh, three questions. Uh, first question is uh, related to the results announced uh, in the first half. And uh, now to the president, I would like to ask uh, the question for fiscal year 2019 uh, results. Uh, what, what were the challenges uh, in the you know, fiscal year uh, 2019 results? Uh, re the forecast for fiscal year 2020 was uh, explained but uh, there could be impact of COVID-19 on the orders to be received going forward. Uh, what is your uh, take on the impact of COVID-19? Uh, answer, regarding the results uh, for fiscal 2019, uh, the highlight uh, will be explained from my perspective. Uh, excluding the uh, COVID-19 impact uh, for the five sectors is 8.9% uh, on a consolidated basis, 8% uh, uh, has been achieved. Uh, therefore, profitability uh, is improving uh, uh, successfully from January to March. Uh, the COVID-19 impact uh, uh, was reflected uh, in the numbers presented. But uh, for fiscal year 2019, uh, I believe that the results have improved. Uh, in January of last year, um, there is a nuclear power a project uh, in the UK that was suspended and uh, in December of uh, last year uh, we reached settlement uh, um, in the South Africa project. Uh, with that, uh, uh, the major shackles or uh, the challenges in management uh, are behind us. Uh, therefore, that is a major achievement uh, in fiscal year 2019. Uh, now, uh, referring to the impact of the COVID-19 on orders going forward. Uh, in the business cycle, I mentioned that 40% uh, uh, are the one year uh, uh, um, below and 60% uh, uh, are one year and above in terms of uh, orders and uh, contracts. Um, Long-term projects include uh, the railway uh, business. Uh, we have uh, 3 trillion in terms of uh, uh, the uh, uh, the orders received. Uh, so um, once the factory is uh, uh, is uh, uh, resumed, uh, we can continue. Uh, therefore, uh, in these areas, I would like to minimize the impact of COVID-19. Our orders received are very important. Uh, operating cash flow uh, must will uh, depend on uh, securing the orders. Uh, so orders and uh, cash flow management uh, will be very important uh, in uh, the management uh, of uh, uh, fiscal year 2020. Um, next question is regarding uh, the, um, against the backdrop of COVID-19, uh, is this going to have an impact uh, on the reorganization of the list of series? Regarding the list of subsidiary answers, uh, uh, there is Hitachi construction material, machinery, and Hitachi metals remain. 
And uh, what we are telling the top management is that uh, fiscally 2021 and 2024, uh, in this time frame, we have to make sure these companies are able to compete globally. Uh, they are now um, evaluating this. It, the, it is not uh, just a matter of uh, COVID-19. Uh, mid to long term, uh, long uh, growth strategy uh, will be uh, the uh, will be emphasized. Uh, in so the reorganization strategy for the this is series uh, will not be impacted by uh, COVID-19. Question. My last question. Uh, with the impact of uh, COVID-19. Uh, uh, is there any initiatives you're going to be pursuing? On the part of Hitachi Limited, uh, are there any contribution uh, that you are making in uh, overcoming the challenge of COVID-19? Uh, answer regarding COVID-19, uh, we are thinking of ways to make a contribution on the part of Hitachi Limited, as I already mentioned today. Um, 300,000 uh, employees, uh, uh, how they can uh, make a contribution to society is what we are trying to promote. And uh, with the advent of uh, COVID-19, I asked uh, the employees to consider uh, what they can do. We did an idea competition and within two weeks, uh, 1,400 uh, proposals were presented uh, by employees uh, about uh, donations uh, to be made or to how to change uh, products, as well as uh, how work style should be reformed. These are proposals that uh, uh, we have received that we are trying to organize this now. Uh, in uh, JR Automation uh, is now involved in, in the production of masks and face shields uh, have been produced uh, to to supply this. Uh, 14,000 uh, will be provided uh, in the month of uh, June. These are some of the contributions that we are making in the advent of uh, uh, COVID-19. Uh, we are trying to prioritize uh, these efforts. Thank you. Those of you with uh, questions, uh, please uh, press the button for raising your hand. We have a questioner. Please unmute and ask your questions. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Question. Earlier, you said that COVID-19 is having even more severe impact than that of uh, the Lehman shock, and yet, uh, you are poised uh, to generate income of uh, 335 billion this year. So what is the degree of uh, structural reform you have achieved? Uh, how much of it is already complete? I would like to ask. And this fiscal year as well. You will continue with uh, the reorganization of your business uh, portfolio and uh, continue making investments into growth for the future as you said, and you talked about uh, list of subsidiaries earlier, but uh, in the larger framework, if you will, uh, what's going to be the impact of COVID-19 on your structural reform initiatives? Answer, how much of uh, structural reform is being complete? It depends on the view. It's hard to say categorically, but uh, how I see it is, as I said earlier, Lumada digital platform uh, that is to be promoted and uh, deployed globally. Uh, we have uh, had certain progress, but in each region, uh, we are promoting social innovation business and we will have to accelerate that even more going forward. And I think as far as that is concerned, I think we've achieved 60% uh, of what we need to achieve. Uh, fiscal year 2021 and uh, uh, to uh, fiscal year 24, we need to further accelerate this. And regarding structural reform, rather than the impact from COVID-19, it's more a question of how to uh, pursue global deployment. I talked about securing uh, talents, uh, that it's very important for us. In recent times, in Asia, 
a company called Fusion, an IT integration firm we have acquired in Asia. So as such, uh, with uh, Lumada at the core, in 2021, we will like to achieve 1.6 trillion. And for that to happen, uh, we must uh, strengthen our global framework and uh, we need to accelerate our efforts at structural reform for this. Well, COVID-19 is uh, happening. So for uh, the coming year, it's going to be difficult to pursue those activities. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, from a global perspective, uh, we will continue to think about uh, social innovation business, and uh, for that, we will accelerate our reform initiatives. Thank you. Next question, please. Please indicate if you wish to speak by pressing the relevant icon. Koida san, please. Uh, question. I have three questions. Uh, first question uh, is uh, related to the previous question. Uh, you said that 60% uh, of the work is complete in terms of our nomada, and uh, you're aspiring to become number one globally. And uh, the speed, uh, compared to your competition, uh, where do you stand in terms of positioning? So let's take this one by one answer. Regarding Lomada, the way we promote this uh, business uh, uh, is not comparable to other companies. Let me elaborate. In terms of uh, uh, system development, uh, in the upstream uh, consulting company uh, are uh, involved. And when the uh, specifications are uh, decided, it goes to the IT vendors. A system will be established uh, and maintenance will be provided uh, accordingly. This is the flow. But in the case of Romanda, it's different. Uh, we have about 1,000 use cases accumulated so far. By applying uh, uh, Lumada, we can suggest uh, what uh, can be enabled on the part of the customers. The upstream, uh, the basic design uh, in the upstream uh, uh, can be made clear, and the feasibility or the effectiveness of uh, adopting uh, Lumada uh, will be visualized. Therefore, consultants and IT vendors uh, are involved as well, but uh, this does not exist in other uh, companies. The basic uh, strategy, planning, installation, and the maintenance uh, in these uh, different uh, phases, uh, Lumada can be utilized and end-to-end -end, uh, services uh, can be provided uh, on a global basis. This is the ultimate goal. If this is 100%, uh, we are at the 60% uh, complete uh, to date. That's what I meant. Uh, second question, regarding your investment posture. In June of last year, when, we had, when you had the IR day, you said that uh, there's about uh, four to 4.5 trillion and uh, for growth it would be two to 2.5 trillion uh, in terms of uh, investment. Uh, it was mentioned uh, today uh, that uh, Uh, what is going to be the impact of uh, COVID-19 uh, for uh, uh, 2.5 trillion and as well as uh, the, uh, cash flow and so and uh, other means? Uh, 2.5 trillion was uh, the investment for growth. That was last year. Uh, how has this plan changed? What is the current state? So 2 to 2.5 trillion uh, investment for growth. Uh, is what we are contemplating, out of which one trillion is uh, ABB power grid uh, acquisition. So the remaining amount uh, will be one to one point five trillion. What are we going to do with it, about this? Uh, with the impact of the COVID nineteen, uh, operating cash flow is likely to decline. We have to assume that to be the case. In terms of the investment cash flow, as we have already discussed. Uh, capital expenditure um, uh, waiting uh, will be required, and uh, we don't want to reduce uh, R&D expenditures. Uh, 4 to 4.5 trillion out of that, the 2 trillion uh, will be uh, capital expenditure as well as R&D expenditures. And inclusive of uh, M&A, uh, that will be 1 to 1.5 trillion yen, excluding uh, A, B, and B. 
Uh, so it uh, will depend on cash flow. Uh, last year, um, we had a 2.5 trillion cash flow. And uh, with the COVID-19 impact, the operating cash flow, how we can secure uh, operating uh, the cash flow uh, will have to be taken into consideration uh, as we consider investment uh, uh, in the future. Uh, question, operating cash flow, if uh, it uh, falls short and uh, that means that uh, investment scale will become smaller or you're going to increase uh, borrowings or sell more assets, how are you going to deal with that situation? Uh, regarding M&A, uh, it depends on timing. Timing is everything. Uh, we have to always uh, have be sensitive to uh, what is available and make a good uh, acquisition. Uh, debt equity ratio is uh, 0 0.5 and below, and uh, with ABP, it will go up to 0 0.6. And in terms of interest bearing debt uh, and uh, EBITDA uh, to multiple of two uh, is uh, uh, what uh, we have uh, set as a uh, requirement. Uh, it could uh, uh, breach uh, temporarily, uh, but uh, we should be able to recover that uh, in one year. Uh, if that is the case, uh, we will uh, not rule out uh, good acquisitions. Uh, question number three, uh, Hitachi Metals uh, last month. There was a uh, um, um, fraudulent uh, accounting. Uh, it uh, is uh, uh, listed companies on the part of Hitachi Limited. Uh, what is your uh, view uh, in terms of uh, management of responsibility? What is your take on this? Regarding Hitachi uh, Metals, uh, the quality uh, issue is uh, very unfortunate. Uh, on the part of Hitachi Chemical, uh, uh, we uh, had a similar experience and another quality issue occurred uh, uh, th this time around, uh, which is very unfortunate. Uh, we will have a third party probe uh, to investigate uh, uh, this matter. And the, um, the board uh, is uh, leading this process at Hitachi Metals. Uh, we have to uh, uh, investigate why it has reoccurred. Uh, we have to go back to basics uh, to have a comprehensive uh, review. We must clarify this uh, in terms of my responsibility as uh, to the group companies and uh, for Hitachi, we have to make sure there is uh, uh, no uh, reoccurrence. Thank you. Karawa. From this point onward, institutional investors and analysts on the Japanese channel uh, please raise uh, questions. Those of you with uh, questions, uh, please press the button for raising your hand. We have a questioner. Please unmute and ask your questions. Thank you. Question, I have two questions. Uh, they're related to uh, a couple of uh, the slides. Page 12, you talk about uh, the business uh, cycle you have uh, pie charts, so business uh, for within one year, over one year, or business uh, for the long term. I wonder what the intention behind this pie graph is. Did you want to show diversity, how diverse your businesses uh, are? Five years from now, what will be the breakdown if you could uh, share that with us, do you have a specific outlook as to what the breakdown of this will be in five years time? That's my first uh, question. And so which part of this uh, uh, pie graph uh, is higher in ROIC or competitiveness? And uh, which part of the business, what kind of business uh, will you focus on with what timeline? Answer. I. I've shown business cycles here. And the reason for that is uh, when I say short-term business is uh, appliances and simple industrial systems, uh, they can be received as orders uh, and uh, post uh, revenue within one year, 40%. And uh, orders have already been received and we will be delivering uh, within one year or a uh, railway uh, business, uh, that's a more long-term business. Well, it depends on the situation uh, as to what the optimal percentage breakdown should be. Short-term versus medium to 
uh, long term, uh, I think uh, the balance uh, should be somewhere around 50-50. Uh, but if uh, there's a drastic change in the economic situation, uh, the breakdown may change. Increasing the medium to long-term business and uh, uh, supporting uh, cash inflow based on agreements, that may be better perhaps uh, at times, but given the current situation, short-term business, uh, home appliances and uh, short-term business for industrial, uh, that's about 40% of the total, which is an optimal balance for now. So increasing long-term business, uh, getting uh, cash inflow uh, based on agreement, that may be a good idea going forward. Thank you. Question, another question at page 23 on lower Right, uh, you said that uh, uh, mid-term management plan targets will be updated in the future. With COVID-19, the world has changed, and if you're saying that you need to revise the targets, uh, then please say so. But M&A, business acquisitions uh, may also be a factor in the background. If that is the case, then how do you, see the mid-term management plan? How is it to be positioned? I think uh, you've always had uh, potential m and on your mind. So I don't think you're going to change MTMP just because you're having m and Well, we announced this uh, back in May 10th uh, last year when we made the announcement ABB and Honda related uh, businesses. Uh, we didn't reflect uh, detailed numbers in the plan, but we did have an idea as to the direction. And high tech uh, to be turned into subsidiaries. Yes, we did have that consideration as well back then. In 2021, MTMP targets uh, to be reviewed. Uh, the greatest uh, reason for that is uh, because of uh, COVID-19 impact. Given the current circumstances for fiscal year 2020, I think uh, the impact uh, will subside, will it? And are we going to uh, get back to normal in fiscal year 2021? We have to watch. Or uh, is it going to continue for two to three years to come as was the case with uh, some other infections in the past? So uh, we would like to review this uh, uh, at some point in the future. That's the greatest reason. Thank you, understood. Uh, next question, please. Yes, you can some, please. And please unmute and uh, uh, ask your question. Uh, question. Thank you for this opportunity. Um, my first question is as follows uh, regarding the business plan that was mentioned. Could it be the case that in the mid to long term, uh, the lifestyle of people will change? Uh, in your case, uh, IT services as well as the railways and automotive systems may be impacted as a result of that. Uh, now, for these three areas, I am particularly uh, interested in terms of your of your business. Uh, which areas will undergo change? That's my first question. Uh, answer. So it is going to be more human centric and how it is going to change going forward uh, will uh, is a discussion that we need to have um, in terms of uh, railways as well as uh, automotive systems and uh, uh, in relation to IT in Italy. Mass or digital ticketing uh, has already begun and against this backdrop uh, with COVID-19 uh, in mind uh, contactless uh, will be required increasingly in terms of railway as well as uh, cars, the space uh, within um, will require uh, disinfection. These are added values uh, that uh, is likely to be required 
and I think it can be uh, refer uh, reflected uh, in the price because big people are likely to be willing to pay more for uh, security and safety. Uh, so these uh, three areas are remote uh, as well as uh, contactless. And, uh, these uh, will uh, lead to uh, quality of life improvement, uh, leading to new values, uh, which will be um, reflected in higher prices. Thank you. My second question. Um, you have provided guidance. Thank you very much for that. I have two questions regarding the guidance uh, provided. Uh, I'm sure there is significant uh, uncertainty, but you provided these uh, guidance uh, with speed, which is uh, uh, very uh, impressive. Uh, why did you uh, em emphasize uh, the speed uh, in providing the guidance? But having uh, provided this guidance, uh, uh, what are the uh, likely um, um, uncertainties? Uh, automotive systems is a good case in point. Uh, are there other factors uh, which will uh, change uh, these uh, uh, guidance numbers for 2020 uh, guidance have been provided uh, with speed? That's the point you are making. In the past two months, I have been uh, focused solely on this. Uh, with, we have uh, identified uh, the uh, budget uh, for uh, excluding uh, COVID-19. Uh, we have come up with the focus, but uh, with the uh, outbreak of uh, COVID-19 uh, in different regions as well as different products, uh, we have analyzed the impact uh, thereof. And this is a result uh, of uh, this analysis. But uh, in the second wave or third wave uh, occurring, uh, it could uh, worsen further. And we have uh, estimated uh, these numbers as well. But we have to uh, we have to um, uh, um, make preparations, uh, uh, assuming the worst case. Uh, we believe that uh, February to April uh, have been focused uh, on this effort because of the uncertainty. Um, it is important to provide data to analysts as well as the media uh, core uh, so that uh, we can receive uh, input from you. That is the reason why we have uh, provided this guidance. The most significant uh, business, uh, uh, most uh, uncertain business is uh, automotive system. Even uh, without the impact of the uh, COVID uh, a case, uh, direction is uh, uh, something that uh, uh, needs to be uh, evaluated very uh, uh, precisely, because uh, new car numbers uh, will decrease going forward, uh, we have to have a uh, overall outlook uh, for automo automobiles uh, going forward. And uh, with the parts and system, uh, it is important for us to become number one in the market so that we can control the market, uh, we can control uh, the, um, the parts uh, uh, market uh, and we are not able to do that uh, we will not be able to survive and that is the reason why uh, we have uh, uh, integrated uh, with the three uh, honda related companies because uh, it is a difficult uh, market uh, we have to um, harness synergies so that in terms of uh, electronics um, parts uh, we have to expedite the effort to become number one globally additional question uh, beyond automotive uh, systems uh, what are the other very uh, variations that uh, could occur? If COVID-19 uh, impact is going to be a uh, uh, prolonged uh, industry might be uh, impacted uh, with less investment. Uh, in the beginning, the impact uh, was in materials area. Then it was followed by industrial uh, machinery. Uh, there was a, um, a curtailing of the uh, investment. And after, if COVID-19 is going to continue, uh, there will be um, declining uh, investment. Uh, so it is likely to be uh, having an impact on the industrial area. Thank you. Thank you, let us move on. We have another question, eh? Another person wishing to raise questions. Please unmute and ask your questions. Can you hear me? Thank you. Question, I have two questions. Question number one is, crisis can be turned into an opportunity. So for 
COVID-19? Because it creates economic uh, crisis, uh, there are actions that you can take, uh, taking that opportunity. If you have any ideas on that, please uh, share them with us. And uh, this time you have disclosed uh, supplementary information, ROIC by segment. Taking a look at that, I realize uh, that uh, life segments are ROIC uh, is lower than other segments as I expected. And I think uh, it's the car business uh, that's pushing ROIC uh, for this uh, sector down. So from the viewpoint of ROIC, well, uh, you've uh, uh, reorganized a list of subsidiaries and uh, you will have to continue that effort uh, within the parent. So turning crisis into opportunity, any hints or ideas? Answer, thank you for the questions. COVID-19, as I said, uh, under this, uh, we're going to accelerate our social innovation business. Uh, that's the expression that I used. Together with customers and various partners, the challenges imposed by COVID-19 should be addressed. For example, there are challenges associated with uh, teleworking, working from home. How can we address those uh, challenges? Uh, through co-creation and digitization, we can offer solutions and it could create a huge opportunity for us. For example, what we have on mind is uh, when you engage in work from home, Uh, we have to take a close look at our employees' uh, work styles, and it's uh, sometimes hard to ascertain that. Uh, three Cs are said to be evil, but uh, in order to have good communication, you need to be close uh, to the person that you're talking to. So in a remote virtual setting, how can we have uh, close communication? How can we ensure that? That is something that could be an idea for business uh, in uh, the work style reform. And uh, people are treated equally uh, in the virtual setting. When you address someone, you get answers uh, from all the participants. And uh, nodding uh, to the person that's uh, talking remotely, that's also necessary, uh, but uh, in a teleconferencing setting, that's sometimes difficult. So can, how can we instill a sense of reality? We have VR, virtual reality. And so this can be turned into a business opportunity. You talked about ROIC. I have similar thoughts within smart life uh, segment. Perhaps car business needs uh, to be treated uh, separately because investment patterns in this business are different. Uh, we are discussing uh, how to handle this uh, in life, smart life uh, sector, car versus non-car business. So we have to have a different style of management over these businesses. Car business requires uh, upfront investment, uh, return comes later, uh, that's the style. So within smart life, uh, we have to manage uh, car business separately from others. Understood. Thank you. My second question is about uh, work style reform and teleworking. So in order to enhance the productivity uh, for the employees and to achieve carbon neutrality, uh, to generate environmental values, uh, you uh, have to prioritize uh, financial values as well as non-financial values. Uh, it's difficult to strike a balance. But what are the challenges and what are the issues uh, that you think you need to address uh, with respect to this? That's my second question. Answer, as you pointed out, well, the reform that we've achieved in the last decade has been done top down. So I think financial indicators have improved quite substantially as a result. But on the other hand, from the employee's uh, point of view, uh, they may feel that they've been forced uh, to uh, pursue reform. So we want the employees to think that uh, they're making contribution to society, that they're leading society. So top-down approach and bottom-up approach, uh, they need to be balanced going forward. So as we implement work style reform, as I said before, work style reform needs uh, to happen uh, with more motivation of 
on the part of employees. That's going to be important. So motivation to work, uh, rewarding work for employees. Uh, this is mainly a uh, non-financial. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we will now like to uh, take questions from the English channel participants. Uh, the the question will be translated into uh, uh, Japanese uh, in a consecutive uh, translation. So please indicate uh, if you wish to ask a question. They seem not. Uh, so uh, once again, uh, we would like to take questions uh, from the Japanese channel, from the media, as well as uh, analysts and uh, institutional investors. Uh, please uh, indicate uh, that you wish to ask us a question at this time. Anto-san. Please unmute and ask your question. Uh, question. Regarding the Lumada business for this fiscal year, uh, it is going to be a major engine for uh, profitability. And uh, at this time, you have provided a new definition for the Lumada business. Why now have you uh, redefined uh, the Lumada business of 100 billion yen? Uh, there is a, a decline. The SI business uh, traditionally there were businesses uh, uh, which uh, uh, was not uh, strictly speaking Gurdumanda that was included. But uh, uh, looking at this in more detail, it seems that uh, core business uh, of Gurdumanda is increasing uh, under the new definition. Gurdumanda uh, SI business or uh, closely related to business to Gurdumanda uh, is included in uh, the core business. Is that the case? Uh, can you elaborate further? No, answer. Uh, in promoting the Dumada business, uh, as I have already mentioned today, there is the core business, uh, which uh, has accumulated 1,000 uh, use cases. And uh, within Dumada Hub, the uh, common solutions have been accumulated as well. Uh, 240,000 uh, truck lease Penske uh, is a company in the United States. And uh, the parts of uh, the vehicles uh, are subject to uh, monitoring. And uh, when it is up for a replacement, uh, the driver will receive information that uh, the, uh, the service uh, should be received at the plant. And the parts uh, can be provided uh, uh, beforehand. And the video site uh, can be utilized and uh, we can improve the security uh, by uh, identifying uh, abnormal behavior. These are common solutions uh, that uh, we can deploy uh, globally. The reason why we have changed uh, the definition this time is because of the following reason. Um, so far, there were two factors. Uh, even using Lumada, the scale of digital or using IT to uh, increase the business was one approach. A scale by uh, digital is also another approach. Uh, using Lumada, the railway business uh, or construction machinery uh, automated driving uh, can be enabled in the operation area and uh, in the product area. There is a, the intention of expanding Ramada. So Ramada by digital is what we wanted to increase. It is not just uh, within the confines of uh, uh, IT or SI. Uh, in order to clarify uh, our approach, uh, we have decided to change the definition. Uh, question, is that the reason why it looks smaller? But uh, in the midterm plan, uh, 1.6 trillion uh, will be your goal, inclusive of uh, M&A. Yes, that is the case. Thank you. Thank you. Time is up. So with this, uh, we would like uh, to conclude the web conference on the progress of uh, 2021 MTMP. Thank you very much for your participation, despite your busy schedules. Thank you.